Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In previous video, we have seen how to crochet a flower granny square pattern. So we have a beautiful granny square and in this video, we are going to see how to attach the granny square pattern. So let's begin. So we are going to crochet in the back loop of the both the granny. Okay. So first we are going to identify the corner. So this will be our corner and in that corner we will have two chains. So this will be our first chain and this will be our second chain. So we are going to insert the hook into the second chain in the back loop. Okay. Only in the back loop like this. In the next granny square pattern, we are going to identify the chain 2 of the corner and we are going to insert into the back loop of the corner chain. So in the second chain, this will be our first corner chain and this is the second corner chain. So we are going to insert into the second corner chain. So now there will be two loops in our hook. Okay. See like this. Now we are going to make a slip knot and we are going to insert into the hook and we are going to insert the slip knot through the loops. Okay. Now again we are going to hold this yarn from the first granny we are going to insert into the next chain into the back loop and again into the next granny we are going to insert into the back loop of the next chain now three loops in the hook come out of all three loops Again, we are going to move on to the next stitch. So, insert into the back loop of the next chain. Again, into the next granny, we are going to insert into the back loop of the next chain. Again, there will be three loops in our hook. Grab the yarn, pull through the three loops. Okay. So again we are going to move on to the next chain. So from the back loop of the next chain we are going to insert the hook. Again into the back loop we are going to insert the hook. Now we are going to yarn over. Grab the yarn. Pull through the three loops. Okay. In similar way continue the same pattern until you reach the next corner. So continue the pattern. Only insert the hook into the back loop of both the granny square pattern. Grab the yarn. Pull through the loops. So now we have reached our corner. So you can identify the two chains of the corner. One, two. Here also there are two chains. So now again we are going to insert into the back loop of the first chain from the next corner also we are going to insert into the back loop of the next granny square pattern there will be three loops in the hook come off top all three loops now we are going to add the next granny square so next two granny squares we are going to attach So here also there will be a corner. So in the second chain we are going to insert the hook. So this will be our first chain and this will be our second chain. So into the back loop we are going to insert the hook. And here also the same. In the second chain this will be our first chain and this will be our second chain. In the second chain, we are going to insert the hook. 
in the back loop only so we are working only in the back loops now we are going to hold the yarn grab the yarn come out of all three loops so see we have attached the other two granny also now continue the same pattern so what is the pattern we are going to insert the hook into the back loop of the first granny like this again we are going to insert the hook into the second granny in the back loop only and we are going to yarn over and insert through all three loops we are going to insert into the next back loop of the granny square so we have inserted into the next granny we are going to insert into the back loop now grab the yarn pull through all three loops again we are going to move on to the next stitch we are going to insert the hook into the back loop of the granny again we are going to insert the hook into the back loop of the granny and now grab the yarn pull through all three loops okay like this continue until you reach the corner of the grannies okay continue the pattern i will be meeting you in the end of the granny square so now we have completed joining the both the granny square here also we have reached the corner so into the first corner chain insert into the back loop and again into the next corner chain insert into the back loop grab the yarn pull through the three loops again if you are going to complete it up to this granny square we are going to insert into the next corner chain also okay into the next corner chain both into the back loop we are inserting the hook grab the yarn pull through the three loops now we are going to work a chain one cut the extra yarn out now we have completed joining our four pieces we are going to turn the project like this and from here we are going to start our next joining so this will be our corner we are going to begin from the first chain the in corner there will be two chains from the chain one into the back loop we are going to insert the hook again from the next piece from the chain two so this will be our second chain this is our first one so in first chain into the back loop we are going to insert our hook then make a slip knot and we are going to insert the hook into the slip knot after inserting come out of two loops now we are going to insert into the next chain into the back loop and again we are going to insert into the next back loop now pull through the three loops again we are going to insert the hook into the next back loop of the first piece again we are going to insert into the back loop of the other piece and we have to grab the yarn and pull through the three loops like this continue attach both the pieces until you reach the corner here i will show you how to attach the piece now we have completed joining see here previously we have out one corner 
now there will be two chains one chain from the this granny square and other from the other side granny so we should work into that so insert into the back loop of the corner chain and again insert into the corner chain after that grab the yarn pull through the three loops again work a chain on and now in the other side also there will be a corner chain so we should not skip this chain we should work in the back loop of this chain also so continue to work after working a chain on insert into the back loop again insert into the back loop grab the yarn pull through the three loops now we are going to continue the same pattern through the end here you should join both the corner chains one and two then work a chain one and cut the extra yarn out now to convert a granny square that we have attached already into your bag make a slip knot and we are going to start from the corner so into the chains so there will be two chain one and two in the first chain into the back loop we are going to work a half double crochet so insert the hook and work a chain two so one two after working chain two we are going to a half double crochet so into the same chain or a half double crochet and place a marker in top of the half double crochet now into the next chain we are going to work a half double crochet into the back loop again into into the next chain again into the next chain of a half double crochet again into the next chain of one half double crochet so like this continue working one half double crochet until you reach the last corner so i'm going to work one half double crochet from this corner to this corner again to this corner and again into the last corner so continue to work one half double crochet until you reach the last corner i'll be seeing you in the end of the corner now we have completed the working or one row of half double crochet now again for the next row we are going to work a chain two after working a chain two into the same chain space we are going to work a half double crochet and we are going to place the marker in top of the half double crochet again continue to work the half double crochet throughout the round so work half double crochet for two more rounds so after working the half double crochet i will be seeing you now we have completed working our half double crochet after completing the half double crochet we are going to join the other piece so we are going to join from the corner that is from the chain 2 so insert the hook into the first chain and pull the loop through the chain 1 
again work chain 1 now insert the hook into the back loop again insert the hook into the back loop grab the yarn pull through the three loops into the next chain into the back loop insert the loop insert the hook again into the next back loop insert the hook pull the yarn through again insert the hook into the back loop of both the pieces and pull the yarn through again insert the hook into the next back loop of both the both the pieces and grab the yarn pull through the three loops like this continue joining both the pieces I will be seeing you in the end of the joining. Now we have completed working our joining of the bag. After completing the joining, we are going to work a chain 2 and going to place the marker in chain 2 and into the next chain, into the back loop, we are going to work one half double crochet. Okay. For working the half double crochet, yarn over, insert into the back loop, grab the yarn, pull through, come out of all three loops. So into the next chain, into the back loop, we are going to work one half double crochet. So yarn over, insert into the back loop, grab the yarn, pull through, come out of all three loops. Again, yarn over, insert into the next back loop, grab the yarn, pull through, come out of all three loops. Like this, continue working one half double crochet until you reach the corner. Okay. Into this corner chain, we, are, we should work one half double crochet again in this chain. Okay. Where we have worked out joining. We should up one half double crochet. So into this back loop, we should up one half double crochet into this chain. Okay, this joining chain, up one half double crochet. So continue working one half double crochet. So see here again in this joining two work one half double crochet so in next two rounds we are going to work one half double crochet throughout the round now we have completed working our one half double crochet throughout the round again we are going to remove the marker and work a slip stitch so we are slip stitching on top of the chain two So, work a chain out and cut the extra yarn out. So, after completing the half double crochet for the handle, hold the corner like this and count the chains. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So totally 16 chains. So we should place the marker. Again count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there will be 16 chains like this. Hold the next corner to again we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Like this mark both the side and now we are going to work our strap. So for the strap, make a slip knot. So 
so of a chain one after walking a chain one into the same chain space we are going to walk a half double crochet and in top of the half double crochet place the marker and now we are going to continue walking one half double crochet until you reach the next marker so walk one half double crochet until you reach the next marker so there will be 16 chains in total so in the end we should have 16 half double crochet now we have completed walking our 16 half double crochet we can count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Now again, walk a chain 1 and turn our walk. After turning our project, we are going to skip our very first chain. Okay. So this is our chain 1 and this chain we are going to skip. This will be our first chain. So we are going to walk one half double crochet into the second chain and we are going to place the marker. Now again we are going to continue walking one half double crochet throughout the round. So again continue to walk one half double crochet. So we have up one half double crochet. Now we have reached our marker. What we are going to do is we are going to skip the last chain. So how we are going to make our hand list by skipping the first chain and the last chain. Okay. Now we have completed working our handle. So I am going to work a chain one and cut the extra yarn out. So for the next side, continue the same pattern. So after completing the next side, we can attach the handle. So continue the same pattern and of the handle for the next side. Now we have completed working handles for the both the side. We are going to join. So take the. So this will be our front side. So we are going to join in the back side, okay. Like this we are going to join. Now we are going to attach the strap. So insert into the chain to space and we are going to grab the yarn. We are going to pull the loop through the chain, chain to space. So of a chain one. So again there will be three chains. We are going to slip stitch the three chains. So insert into the next chain. Again insert into the next chain of the other piece. 
drag the yarn, pull through and off a slip stitch. Again, insert the hook into the next chain. Again, insert the hook into the next chain of the other piece. Grab the yarn, pull through and off a slip stitch. So again, we are going to slip stitch the last chain of both the pieces. We have all slip stitches. We are going to off a chain one and two. Now we have joined our handle. Now we have joined our hand using slip stitch. Again we are going to work a single crochet. We are going to work a single crochet throughout the round. So again we are going to work single crochet all along the stitches. So we are going to begin by making a slip knot. After completing the slip knot, so in this chain, in this first chain, we are going to insert the slip knot. Of a chain one and into the same chain space of a single crochet. After completing the single crochet, place the marker. Now we are going to continue of one single crochet all along the stitches. So of one single crochet throughout the round. So here we are going to work into the loops. Now we have worked our single crochet. Here we are going to work single crochets into the loops. So into the first loop we are going to work one single crochet. Into the second loop we are going to work one single crochet. Into the third loop. We are going to work on single crochet. Like this in every loop we are going to work one single crochet. So in this round we are going to work one single crochet in loops and also in chains. So in handle we will be working in loops and in the back this part we will work in chains. So continue the same pattern throughout the round. I will be meeting you in the end of this round. Now we have completed our single crochet all along the stitches. After completing the single crochet, remove the marker and we are going to slip stitch. After slip stitching, work a chain one and cut the extra yarn. Like the same way, repeat the pattern for the other side. After completing the single crochet in the other side, I will be meeting you. Now we have completed our bag. See, it's very pretty. So try this bag. It's very beautiful and easy to make. So friends, I hope you really like this video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for the notification. So thanks for watching.